Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, team two of Headliners is out. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can review. I'm probably going to be doing more reviews for this week than I did for last week because last week I really wanted to just take a break from all the stuff that's been happening the last two months because it was really, really busy during the uh, months of uh, November, December. So um yeah, so with Payet, guys, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot, in game player traits. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like they could give Payet a finesse shot traits. No, am I wrong? I feel like they could, but he has the flare trait, so definitely very cool there. Kind of surprised doesn't have five star skills too. You know, I, I see him being a skiller, but uh, in game attributes. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, obviously, you do a card like this in the hopes of him getting specific upgrades. Because from what I'm seeing right now, you can give him a Hunter Chemistry style, but you would have to work with the dribbling. Because Pyatt is kind of, like, built in real life. So, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's... Oh, Stocky Body Type. Okay. Stocky Body Type this year is actually not that bad. Okay? It's more when it's average where it's really, really annoying. But Stocky is actually kind of sick. You know why? Because Stocky was, uh, was also... The, the, you know, the, you know, this card right here, you know, this bad boy right here with his stocky body type, but his dribbling is way different because it's in the 90s area, right? So with Payet, you kind of have to hope for some improvements in certain areas because it's in low 90s, but as a headliner, if it gets upgraded, that's going to be the nice thing because the card is perfectly formatted for the Hunter chemistry style, right? 97 acceleration, 94 for sprint speed. His base card stats for shooting is going to be set up really nicely as well. 91, 93, 92. So some very good stuff there. It's just the base card stats for dribbling that needs to be improved. Because, guys, he's 5'9", high medium work rate, stocky body type, French links in the League 1. Very, very nice stuff to work with, right? Base card stats for passing is very good. So, you know, if you're playing him in the cam position, maybe as a secondary striker, could definitely look very nice. Dribbling, I do feel like right now you do have to work with a little bit. But the card does look pretty nice on a hunter with the potential upgrades you can get in the future. And then last but not least, he has 78 for stamina, which does suck. I'm not going to say that it doesn't, but again, could be something that they improve as well. And, you know, if he's playing more through the middle than anything, it's not necessarily like a really big deal. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and complete the SBC and uh, I'll show you guys how I line him up in game. Okay, guys, so we're going to slap a nice little uh, Hunter chemistry style on him and we are going to be testing out a few things. So, play him up top at striker. We're going to put Defrel there. But Dembele, yeah, I'll put Dembele as a cam, why not? Um, okay, 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 then Bamba, we're gonna switch over here. Can I please? EA, thank you very much. Awesome, instructions just balanced for both of them. Okay, cool, because Defrel actually has, like, really nice attacking AI. This card, if he ever, like, gets a card in the future, he's gonna be nice, but yeah, we'll try, uh, we'll try a Pyatt, man, we'll see if he's good. Oh, that was a sick lofted. That was, that was so, he, the way he chipped it was literally like up and down. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like a direct chip. That was actually sick. I wish that was like a consistent thing, honestly. Chips are like the most satisfying way to score. Like, I don't know if you guys agree, but I like that Pyatt's actually like making good runs. Cause right there, I just have to do a small touch, boom, through ball. Good. I don't mind his dribbling. Stocky body type this year, guys. I'm not like completely against it when they have uh, decent enough dribbling stats. Like honestly, yeah, just give players stocky over the average. Like the average is the one that's like, ugh, you know. Dude, that was a really well weighted pass. Oh, I wish I got that interception. Oh, I should have lob past that one. Against Van Dyke, especially, the through ball is not going to work. But the bounce through ball was actually not bad there. That works. We'll take that. That will work. <laughs> Genie was on, was on top of me right there. Trying to get like a ball roll. When you get in those angles, just go for those ball rolls, man. 
It's the, uh, that's gonna be offside probably. Oh no. Nice goal. It was a good run too, actually. That was sick. Let me see this. Is he gonna watch this? Yeah, not bad. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is probably the first year that I actually enjoy Pyatt for what it is because the stocky body type this year as an attacker is actually like not bad, right? Like usually in previous years, once you had like an average or any sort of physical, it was just like chalked at that point. But yeah, movements are pretty good so far. Dribbling on the ball is not bad and it kind of works well with him because it's physical, but like decent dribbling, you know? I don't know why, but it was a good finish. Good little run right there. Oh, I went near post. I should go for the finesse because the finesse after that uh, recent patch, which was like, what, three weeks ago or whatever, finesse shots are actually like pretty decent. So if I hit it on a green or something, I'm like, I'm okay. So that's more in the middle, but it's a really, really low percentage strike there for sure. Dude, I actually thought I timed the uh, the dribble right there. I didn't, though. Yeah, so guys, obviously, he still feels like very physical oriented when it comes to his dribbling. It's just not as bad as the average body type. You know what I'm saying? Like if he actually had it, uh, it's not going to be crazy sharp dribbles like the Fakir card. Fakir is just a different breed but uh yeah it's still not it's still not bad oh i should have touched it i had the time to as well ah you gotta try it i had to be more at a 45 facing his direction to really get the uh, body ahead of him I think his best position is definitely going to be the cam spot, though, for sure. Like, you can definitely use him as a as a secondary striker. But, like, him moving to, like, those side positions, you know, making the space for the guys in the middle, like, I don't mind, but you definitely tell that, you know, the center forward area, this, the cam area is definitely going to be the best spots for him. Although, like I said, he definitely can play in the two-striker formation if you really want to. Oh, I was close. I was close. The animation from the goalkeeper there was a little bit different, though. A little bit different. He was in a good position, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot. Dude, it really registered to that guy there, eh? That kind of messed me up there. Hmm. The shot cancels are a little bit weird. See that little like drag into the uh, the touch right there? That's where you really need the dribbling boost. That's the thing though, man, because it's a headliner's cards. But if he gets those dribbling boosts, you know, from the win streak or any sort of inform and stuff, not bad. Not a bad card to be honest. But he does need the dribbling boost. Dude, there's no way that my player just picked him right there. The reason why I'm pausing the game is because I actually want to switch him um, to, this, to the actual cam position now. The thing that's like throwing me off the most right now, guys, is the price. Because as I was doing the SBC, I'm like, oh, no, he's kind of like kind of up there in price. I need to see what he's actually what he actually costs for his in-game ability and the fact that, you know, he's going to get some specific upgrades maybe in the future. I'm not a crazy fan of SBCs like this because you're paying for something that you're not kind of like aware of what it's actually going to be by the end of whatever upgrade it gets, you know? Yeah, when you're like in the tight situations inside the 18, you feel a little bit more, you know? Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new SBC Payet card. So these SBCs are weird because of the potential upgrade they can have in the future. So that's what you kind of have to look at ahead of time when it comes to analyzing these cards. The main thing that I'm going to say when it comes to him is that the stocky body type this year is not that bad, okay? But his dribbling stats 
it's just not there yet to work with the stocky body type. So it really just depends on what they do with the upgrades on the dribbling, you know, if they get the win streak or if Paya gets some inform cards, right? That part is going to be the most important. Now, when it comes to attacking AI, I don't think he's on the level of like Fakir or Benzema. Like it's just not going to be on that level, but his high medium is still pretty decent. He actually moves across the pitch in a decent enough way, decent enough for the meta of the game. The main thing that I noticed, guys, is literally in the dribbling, okay? Because the stocky body type is not as bad as the average. The average I just honestly don't like at all, right? His stocky doesn't feel bad, but it only feels weird right now because he doesn't have the right dribbling stats, right? Because, listen, man, even if he's a short player, you know what Fakir has in his dribbling? Just, you know, in comparison, right? His dribbling, he, he's got 94 balance, okay? When you have balance like that at a stocky body type while being five foot eight, you know, stocky body type, five foot eight, high medium work rates, a good high medium work rates, that's fantastic to work with because he even has like 84 reactions, 92 composure. Even the card beforehand, the composure and the reactions was at a decent level. Like the card, when you analyze it on a hundred camera saw, you could just tell that he was going to be a beast, okay? You guys can watch the review. I even mentioned it before I even used the card. With Payet, he's formatted nicely, but it really just depends on what they do with the dribbling because the dribbling needs massive improvements for it to be nice with the stocky body type because he's lacking in the composure, he's lacking the reactions, balance is nowhere near a 95, right? So if you increase the agility and balance by a lot, I could see the card being pretty decent. What I will say is that for me personally, even looking into the future of what the SBC could be like, I think the SBC is too expensive. At 163k, you know, even if he gets the dribbling boost, it's just not uh, its not an SBC that I would personally complete myself. I enjoyed using him for what it is, but it's just like the, the thing of not knowing where his dribbling is going to be at. Because, you know, if it was in like the mid 80s in certain areas, the low 90s in certain areas, mid 90s in certain areas... I could see the card actually being, being pretty decent, you know, obviously because of the fact that he's from the League One, he gets like the French links and stuff. It's just that like the not knowing what's going to happen in that area, like that's what throws me off because it's not that crazy right now, you know, from a base perspective. So it's, it's a little bit hard to say because uh, that's literally the main thing that I notice the most. But honestly, if you complete the SPC, he has the minimum meta cri criteria to be decent in this game. It's just the dribbling, man. I, I don't know how they're going to upgrade that with the headliners. I don't. So, because from the win streaks, from the informs, if he gets like, I would say like two or three cards, it could be decent. But isn't it crazy that we got the Fakir SBC for this price? Like, dude, when I saw the price, like initially, I was like, what? Like, it was so low. Even if it was 100K, I was like, you know what I mean? The card was disgusting. But yeah, Payet needs like way more improvements for him to be like really good it, it, it's tough to say right now man because like like i said it's not an sbc that i would complete even looking ahead but it just depends what they do with the dribbling i i don't feel like they're gonna really change too much on it though you know especially with that balance difference all that balance on fakir is just whew, you know because you feel the agility being low but his balance being high is what really allows him to really move you know but it is what it is. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I think today we are also going to be checking out Zakaria gameplay objective. Probably Barella and then Vinicius. Everybody else, uh, I mean, they're not that crazy. Like, these cards I don't care too much about. I'll, I'll probably try out Salah too for fun. You know, 2.4 mil. I definitely have enough for that. Or I don't have enough for that. We'll see if I can actually afford that if he goes down in price. Uh, Vinicius will definitely be checking out whenever I have the chance to. But... Yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.